Well, new at five, Virginia's DMV is launching new technology to keep you safe on the road and also stop drunk drivers. These tests can detect if a person has had alcohol just by them getting in the car. CBS 6's Jake Burns tells us how it works. Right on top of the steering column, right, right there. This small detector works like a breathalyzer, but analyzes a driver's blood alcohol level from their regular breathing. The DADS technology, as it's called, prevents a vehicle from moving if a driver is over the legal limit. The test is almost instantaneous. Check out this real-time example. It asked me for a sample. <laughs> it's that quick. Virginia DMV partnered with the private company that designed the device to help test it in real-life situations. They pitched DADS as a way of stopping drunk driving. According to a study from the Institute, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, equipping all vehicles with such an alcohol detection system could prevent more than a quarter of the fatalities on U.S. highways and save more than 9,000 lives each year. Snyder is becoming the first major trucking company to deploy this technology in some of their vehicles on the roadway. That'll happen in 2022. But a local company who you've probably heard of before has had a few of the devices in a few of their vehicles for several years now. So our drivers have said, do you really suspect that we have a drinking problem? And I said, of course not. If I suspected that, I would have never volunteered for this. Stephen Story, president of James River Transportation, says the pilot testing fit with their safety model and began in 2018. Although drunk driving by commercial drivers is not widely tracked, Story says some fleet owners could find dads useful. Let's say a plumbing company that they never see their driver. The plumbing vehicle comes home with them. So I think those fleets that don't interact with their management on a regular basis, I think that provides a huge benefit. This device is still in the testing phase, and personal vehicles, of course, would have to choose to install them. The masses do agree you shouldn't drive while impaired. Emily Curtis with Students Against Destructive Decisions says anything that stops people from driving drunk is a good thing. So having that technology in place to just prevent you from making that destructive decision right up front um, will be a really great thing, a helpful tool.